It's moments like this that give Maureen Grubin inspiration for her artwork. My inspiration mostly comes from my environment that I grew up with here in the Arctic on uh, the shores of the Beaufort Sea. Collecting bones and fur, working with ice and other raw materials, gather near her home community of Tuktoyaktuk. Grubin often blends the nature of the Arctic with industrial materials. My work is inspired by this land, the ice. Many of her pieces ingrained with a powerful message, preserving the Arctic ice, speaking for the polar bears, or helping the environment by highlighting the impact of climate change. They just come through me. I just feel like I'm the conduit and, and these words just come through me. She's one of nearly 90 artists featured at Kalmayuk, the new Inuit Art Centre at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. The 40,000 square foot facility bridges Canada's north and south, showcasing Inuit art and providing a place for research. We've exhibited and published more than any museum in the world, but we've never been able to, to kind of share more than probably 1% of the collection at any time. Grubin's piece, Waiting for the Shaman, consists of polar bear bone paws and is part of Inua, the center's inaugural exhibit. I think we're very blessed to have a center like this where we can showcase our work and celebrate um, our ancestral talents. It was one of my dreams to be having one of my work shown in the old Winnipeg Art Gallery. This, so I've been working toward uh, this goal, this dream, for about 25 years. Labrador artist Shirley Morehouse has two pieces at Inua. Both have deep-rooted messages of preserving memories and the environment. I'm blessed to have it make it aesthetically beautiful, but I always try to have a conversation somehow. And now, Kalmayuk provides a global platform for those conversations. Marnie Blunt, Global News, Winnipeg.